Ezekiel chapter 23, continuing. Ezekiel chapter 23. And I think we're, we're going to start down about verse 22 this week. And remember, this, this is the allegory of uh, Ahola and Aholaba. Ahola was Samaria and Aholaba was Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, Ahola was captured by the Assyrians. The northern ten tribes captured by the Assyrian Empire, taken into captivity, and a lot of them killed. And, and for the, the, their, the usual sin, okay, idolatry and forgetting God. Okay, not trusting God and their idolatry. And Ahola was guilty of that. And Aholaba, her sister, was even worse. Okay. Jerusalem and Judah were even worse, and this this is what the first you know, bunch this the first all of chapter twenty three uh, tells us about and how how they they uh, played the harlot they they played the whore they they with with their you know future if you will future uh, captors okay. they they. They decided they liked uh, the Assyrian, the Egyptian gods. Then they decided they liked the Assyrian gods. And they liked the Canaanite gods. And you name it, they liked their, their, everybody else's gods <coughs> except their own. Okay. And that's what is getting them into trouble, what got them into trouble. And so, uh, you know, down to, to, to verse 21... You know, all of these, these uh, uh, their whoredoms are discovered. They, they, they find out, you know, they multiply their whoredoms, uh, calling to remembrance of the days of their youth. And, and they, you know, played the harlot in the land of Egypt. So we, uh, we come down to, to, to verse 22. Now, because of all of this in verses 1 through 21, because of all of that and all of your sins and your whoredoms and all of that, therefore, O Aholaba, thus saith the Lord God. Remember, Ezekiel is preaching too, even though he is in captivity in the north of, ba you know, north of Babylon, about 200 miles is this town of Chebar, a region of Chebar, north of Babylon, he's in captivity, but he is preaching to the folks in Jerusalem. And he's telling them what's going to happen. Okay, here's what's going to happen, and it's all because of your sin. So, therefore, O Ahilaba, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will raise up thy lovers against thee. Okay? This, you know, Again, this, this idea of of, of uh, you know, Jerusalem, they, they kind of turned their future enemies into their lover, lovers. You know, they, they would court some, you know, one, one group, they would court the Assyrians, or they would court the, ba or the, the Egyptians, like, you know, against the Babylonians, or they would court the Babylonians against the Egyptians and the Assyrians, you know, they'd, they play both sides. Okay. You know, take, take up, you know, who, whoever uh, looked promising for a, if you will, a lover. Okay. Some, someone who will help us. Uh, the, the uh, yeah, the, the, oh, the, oh, not, and I lost the term. The, the sugar daddy. There we go. You know, the, the, yeah, the, you know that that would be it. You know the whichever you know the, the sugar daddy that that's that's going to help them the most. You know, oh, the you know the the the, the rich uh, old guy that's that's going to to uh, keep them out of trouble. Okay, well that's that's kind of the picture here. Okay. I will raise up thy lovers. Oh, now, now, you know, once, once, sugar daddy 
figures out that, that you are actually a harlot and a prostitute and a whore, okay, which is what, what is going to happen. That's what happened when, you know, when they said, uh, you know, they discovered their whoredoms. Okay. So, you know, then, then uh, you know, uh, Sugar Daddy, you know, kicks the girlfriend out. And that's, that, isn't, isn't that a, 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 just a perfect picture of what is happening here? Raise up thy lovers against thee, from whom thy mind is alienated. Okay? You don't like them anymore. You know, <laughs> Sugar Daddy wasn't good enough for you, and he doesn't like you anymore, and I will bring them against thee on every side. Okay? He is telling J Jerusalem that, that the enemies, their enemies, are round about, and he, God is going to allow them to, and, and if you will, encourage enemies for the judgment of Israel. I will bring them, the, them against thee on every side. Yeah. The Babylonians and all the Chaldeans. You know, the, uh, you know, the Chaldeans were, were actually a, a whole, you know, uh, race of, and they, you know, they had a whole, their own separate race, and Babylonians were kind of just, you know, the inhabitants of Babylon, so one group of Chaldeans, okay, there were a lot of Chaldeans, different Chaldeans, and Pecod, the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, Pecod, and Shoah, and Koah, okay, these were Probably, possibly, uh, we don't n really know positively for sure, but they were probably different tribes of, of Chaldeans. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we've got the, the, the Native Americans you know, here, and we've got all, you know, all of the different uh, tribes of, of Native Americans. Uh, my, my, uh, my uncle's wife... My uncle Charlie and his wife Nettie. Nettie uh, was was uh, uh, she, uh, uh, Nez Perce, and and she she was actually um, went to the uh, Native American school in Spokane. You know, when when she was a little kid, they that's what they did. They 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 shipped the, the you know the Native American kids off to a white school. And, uh, and, and that's what happened with, so she was in, in Spokane. And, uh, and that's where my uncle met her, and you know, she was my Aunt Nettie. And, uh, but she, yeah, Nez Perce. Anyway, but so that, that's kind of here, the Pecod, Shoah, and Koa, different tribes of Chaldeans who are coming against them, okay, on every side. And all the Assyrians, okay, with them. Now, you know, the, the Babylonian, Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonian Empire took over, invaded and took over the Assyrian Empire. So now the Assyrians are part of the Babylonian Empire. They're not Chaldeans, but they're part of the Babylonian Empire, okay. All the Assyrians with them. And here we come, this uh, description. All of them, okay, desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses, okay? This is, this is the, the, the picture, you know, oh, when, when, you were, when you were courting those Babylonians, you know, you... You were seeing them as, you know, you know, they were enemy soldiers, but, but no, they, they, were, they were handsome, you know, uh, fancy uniforms, the whole bit, okay? Desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses. And, of course, you know, that, that is uh, riding upon a horse, uh, 
you know, that, that, that's a higher status than being, in, you know, a plain old infantryman. That, that's, that's, uh, that's status. That's wealth. If you have a horse, you're rich. Okay? If, if you have a horse or horses, okay, uh, you, hey, you've got the money to be a really good sugar daddy, right? That, isn't, isn't that, that's the, that's a lot of, yeah, a lot of sugar daddies. Okay. And they shall come against thee with chariots, wagons, and wheels, and with an assembly of people. This is the army, Nebuchadnezzar, and this is still, you know, about three years before Nebuchadnezzar is, is going to move in, but Nebuchadnezzar is preparing, with God's help, Nebuchadnezzar is preparing uh, his army to come on in. But in, in verse 24, again, all of these armies, Babylonians, Chaldeans, uh, Assyrians, everybody else connected with you know, Nebuchadnezzar's army, come against thee with chariots, wagons, and wheels, and with an assembly of people, which shall set against thee buckler and shield, weapons of war. You know, they, they've got the whole, I mean, the whole army. Uh, not only the whole army, but, but you know, the, the, in, the, in the army, it's the, the quartermaster corps who bring the supplies. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of times in, in these, these invading uh, armies of, of empires, you know, they'd bring along the wives and the kids, too, uh, the, the, the cooks, the, you know, everybody, uh, the chariot repair guys. You, you need somebody to, who, to repair your tanks out in the field there. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, they're the archers, everybody. Shield against the buckler and shield and helmet round about, and I will set judgment before them. They, this massive army and, and everything that's coming at you and it's being prepared three years before it's going to happen, okay? They, they, you know, it does, take, it does take a while for an army to move from Babylon to Jerusalem to surround it. They got to get all the logistics and, and all of that stuff all set up and 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 this is God is allowing this to happen because this is God's judgment on Israel, his own special chosen people. This is his judgment upon them uh, for their sins. Okay. And they shall judge thee according to their judgments. Okay. They're, they're not going to use, if you will, uh, God's laws, if you will. You know, they are violating God's laws, but they're going to use, God is allowing the Babylonians to use their laws okay, on the Jewish people according to their judgments. And... There's a lot of stuff, you know, you, uh, you don't want to, I mean, God had severe penalties for, for a lot, uh, you know, for breaking his sins, okay? But, okay, you get, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what, Middle Eastern, you know, uh, uh, judgment, okay? I, like, well, what, what is it? <coughs> uh, you know, in the, in the Muslim society these days, if you're a thief, you get your hands cop, chopped off. Uh, That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> <I like> that. <laughs> that might be a pretty good deterrent. Uh, I will set my jealousy against thee. Again, okay. Remember, God is a jealous God. He does not like to put up with, with uh, you know, us flirting and, and, and 
playing around with, you know, some other god. Okay. And they shall deal furiously with thee. Remember, God, God's anger and fury and wrath. They shall take away thy nose and thine ears. Uh, okay. It was, uh, you know, a lot of the custom, okay, barbarous custom, heathen custom, uh, mutilate the prisoners. And, you know, and, and we have, we've had, you know, there's, there's examples of that with the, you know, the Islamic State, ISIS, you know, they, they would mutilate, you know, prisoners. Uh, World War II, they, they would mutilate prisoners, stuff like that. Take away thy nose and thine ears. And, and there was, you know, an old Egyptian law. Who knows? I don't know if it's still in effect. Anyway, and, and uh, Egyptian law that prescribed this punishment, taking away nose and thine ears for the adulteress or the prostitute or the harlot. Okay? So, and deal, they shall take away, and thy remnant, whatever's left, shall fall by the sword. Remember, two-thirds of the nation of Israel are going to die because of all of this. On top of that, okay, their remnant shall fall by the sword. You know, there, there's going to be a remnant that's scattered, remnant that falls by the sword, uh, a remnant, two-thirds of the nation. That's a lot of people. Uh, dying, uh, uh, you know, by the sword, pestilence, and, and all of that. And they shall take thy son, sons and thy daughters. You know, we're going to turn your kids. Not only are we going to turn you into slaves if you survive, but we're going to turn your kids into slaves. That's how Daniel and Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, okay, got to where they were. Take away thy son. They were, they were, they were taken away from, from their parents as young, uh, possibly, possibly, you know, teenage kids, okay, taken away from their parents. Take thy sons and thy daughters and thy residue, whatever's left over, shall be devour, devoured by fire. Okay. That's an, another, it's, uh, it, it is, was, is, you know, a mode of capital punishment. And let's see, well, yeah, there, there are still some, you know, terrorist outfits out there today, you know, uh, doing capital punishment uh, burning by fire, of course, you know, we have our uh, recent history with, with, you know, burning witches at, at, at the stake, all that sort of good stuff, you know, people getting burned at the stake, you know, favorite heathen um, capital punishment. They shall also strip thee out of thy clothes, you know, and he's talking to, again, people in Jerusalem, you know, they're, they're, they're wealthy, they're prosperous, they have fine clothes, uh, you know, they, they, they're, still, they're still prospering uh, three years before Nebuchadnezzar moves in. They still have nice clothes, okay? And they shall also strip thee out of thy clothes and take away thy fair jewels, okay? You're, you're going to lose your clothes, one of the... One of the spoils of war, if you will, is if you, if you have a nice suit, you know, you've got a, and I don't have one, you know, a nice, you know, thousand dollar Armani suit or something like that, you know, that's, that's gone. You know, the, whatever the, uh, oh, what, what's, what's the, the big brand of, of fancy shoes? I don't know. You know, I don't know, your, 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 your Gucci purse or, or whatever, all of that stuff, your fair jewels, you know, if, if uh, you know, you're, you're, if you're 
husband, you know, gave, gave you this, this uh, you know, hope diamond for a ring, uh, you know, that's gone. That's all, you know, all that stuff is, all those pearls. Yeah, we're talk, talking about June Cleaver wearing pearls <laughs> earlier <laughs> to, for house cleaning. Yeah, all that's gone. The nice clothes. Uh, sackcloth will be what you end up with. And any, anybody uh, been out wearing any burlap sacks lately? Not recently. Not recently. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Make some burlap sack maths, masks. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Take away clothes. Take away thy fire jewels. Thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee. Okay. You know, your, your outward appearance is going to disappear, and 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 your yeah you you will be, if you will, stripped naked. Okay. Your lewdness, your your lewdness will be discovered. Okay, your abominations will be discovered. Your nakedness will be discovered, and thy whoredom, brought from the land of Egypt, okay. the, e even at this time. Uh, the, the, you know, this is several hundred years from Egypt. Even at this time, they are still worshiping Egyptian gods. They're, they're, they are still saying, you know, after the Exodus and all of that, 40 years wandering in the wilderness and all of that, and, and the subsequent history, you know, all of that, uh, they are still uh, remembering, oh, if we had just stayed in Egypt, we'd have all of the, the water and the, the, the leeks and the onions and, and all the good, good food that they had. They're still remembering all that. And they're still remembering everything. Okay? The, and the, thy whoredom brought, still worshiping Egyptian gods. Okay? Some of them are still worshiping Egyptian gods. So that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them nor remember Egypt anymore. The idea is you're going to be so ashamed of your sin okay, that you're going to forget those Egyptian gods, those Egyptian idols, and, and that's, that's the whole reason behind this. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest. Okay. Remember, you, you hate sugar daddy now. You're going to be delivered. I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this. <laughs> I should have thought of that a long time ago. I'm, I'm getting a lot, good, a lot of good mileage out of that one. <laughs> I'll have to remember that one. That, nobody, nobody's looking to me to be a sugar daddy. <laughs> Which is... Which, huh? yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, okay. And he shall, let's see, let's see. Deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest, into the hand of them whom, whom thou mind, from whom thou, thy mind is alienated. Okay. And they shall deal with thee hatefully and shall take away all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare, and the nakedness of thy whoredoms shall be discovered. You're going to be ashamed because of your sins. And we should all be ashamed because of our sins. Both thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. And that's where we'll stop. Cliffhanger for this week. Yeah. Sugar Daddy Cliffhanger. <laughs>